oh, I don't have time to like try and fix this problem. I also turned my decorations into keyring. Yeah, you know you're busy when you're not able to open a brand new iPhone. She's made me a mug. Have the, I just had a, oh, I just don't have the time to do all the stuff. Hello, welcome back to another studio vlog. I hope you are all really well. I hope things are going good. Thank you if you watched my last video, my final studio tour of this space. Nothing's really happened this week. Things are still here. I think from next week in the month of June, this room's gonna start clearing out. So <laughs> um, I'm glad I documented in the last video my final tour. Um, I have my iMac down here. I mentioned in the last vlog that I was going to sell it to Music Magpie and so many of you messaged me and said, stop, don't do that. So I just wanna say thank you so much for giving me the heads up. Um, so I still have an iMac <laughs> in a box and I'm probably gonna try and sell it privately in the month of June. We'll see, I'll add that to the, the huge to-do list that I have. It's a Monday morning, it's the 22nd of May. I am so far behind on mermaids so far behind. I've only done six mermaids. I should have done maybe nine by this point. So today is going to be about doing three mermaids. If I can't finish three mermaids, that's fine, but I have to get three mermaids sketched and at least one of them finished. I also have this week uh, the prep for our eHearts market, which is happening at the weekend. So I've got quite a lot of bits and pieces to do for that. And then on Sunday, I'm at an event. Um, which will be in a separate vlog, I think. I think I'll do it as a separate vlog or a, like in the next studio vlog, there'll be a section for it. But this week I want to plan my table because um, I haven't done a market with my new uh, setup. So we're gonna do that. I mentioned in the last vlog that I really wanted to paint those displays. And so many of you were quick to comment and say, don't do that, it won't look good. Your products will get lost. Um, so what I'm gonna do, because I mentally, envision it um, and I've seen other shop displays in shop windows with very similar to what I'm thinking and it works beautifully so what I'm going to do is I'm going to photoshop it and test it out and see if it'll work um, but I don't really want to leave it like that um, I know that a lot of people like that and if that's your aesthetic that's fine but you have to remember that I'm a my business is lilac and I want it to be in your face and a, a statement. Um, so yeah, well, well Photoshop it, see what I think and show you kind of my thoughts on that. Um, so that's what this vlog is. Mermaids, eHearts Market Prep and Display Table Prep. So it's half nine now. I'm going to just get a bit of admin done because I have a few orders. Thank you so much if you place an order this weekend. It means the absolute, absolute world as it always does. I have a few of those orders to send out today. But yeah, that's that's all my update. I hope everyone is good. Let me know what you're up to at the minute. Let me know if you're taking part in the eHats market that we're doing this weekend. Um, I will leave a link below and I don't know when this vlog's going live, but the market goes live on Friday. So I'll leave a link for it below. Uh, right now we have about over 50 shops taking part and I'm hoping that number goes up a little bit more. So yeah, it's gonna be fun, can't wait. So yeah, I'm gonna do some admin and then um, I'm gonna plan my week out on Asana um, and then we'll get started on some mermaids. So it's now 12 minutes past 34. No, it's not. It's 34 minutes past 12. <laughs> and uh, I've been drawing for a few hours and I have my next three mermaids sketched and planned out. So I'm gonna flash them on the screen now. It's vampire, 70s and coral. Um, I've, I've done the sketches. I'm really happy with how they're looking. I'm gonna try and get vampire done today. And finished but my head is absolutely banging today I thought I was getting better with these headaches but I'm suffering today so that's annoying but we're gonna just push through if I can try and get a few more hours done that would be really great so um, I really need to pack some orders 
so we will do that but I also want to start getting my table set up and like planning how it's gonna look next weekend so I think I'm gonna do that for half an hour we can start laying things out so I have a fold-up table it's always good to get your own table if you're doing events and things one well like the event I'm going to on Sunday the table is provided I believe but it's always good to have your own just in case a lot of events I go to you have to bring your own table and it's also good to practice on it's also good to have a table um, and like the one that I have folds up and it's quite easy to store so um, get yourself one I'll leave mine linked it probably cost me maybe 30 quid something like that so I'm gonna lay it out here in front of the window and let's see what we've got <laughs> So this is how we are looking so far. I can't really get far back to show you, but I'm really excited for how this looks. <laughs> Hang on, let's come over here. This is probably the best angle I'm gonna get. I like it. I don't like that these two are quite high and then this one's quite low, but I think for this event, I think it's gonna be great. So here, it's not final by the way, but this is kind of what I'm thinking here. I found some pin displays, which I think is gonna be really great. And I think these are decorations right now. I'm thinking I might make them into key rings for this event. Um, but they will sort of hang there. We have stickers. This is a planner event, so I need to take lots of stationery with me. I am going to take my pins because pins do well, but lots of postcards and bookmarks always do really well at these events. And then some more like stationery bits. But yeah, for a first sort of run through, I'm really happy with how it looks. Now, I do think the brown wood looks good. Um, so I'm not doing anything yet, but yeah, I like it. I still need to put like my little logo on the top of here. So I won't get that done in time for this event, but yeah, let me know what you think. So I don't think I'm as like rigid with a craft fair display. Like I used to have it down to like everything super planned out. I'm a bit more laid back nowadays because I just think like it'll work out it'll look nice as long as I have a rough idea of what I'm taking with me I can tweak stuff on the day um, but yeah I think it's it's gonna look lovely um, I think this is gonna be a smaller event so I don't need to take loads with me compared to the event I have in July which is massive so um, I think it's gonna be good but I do have a few jobs to get done by the time I go on Sunday. So I'm just gonna put together a little to-do list of everything I need to do, and then I can kind of tick it off throughout the week. So yeah, let's do that. So my market to-do list is charge my sum up card reader i use sum up um i have a link if you want to get a card reader i think it gives you money off i also get some money as well so i'll leave a link for that below get change for float so it's always good if you're going to take cash to have some change the majority of people buy on card but some people might buy using cash so i need to get some change i need to make key rings i may need to make up some pins i need to make up notepads as in like put the packaging on them, make up patches, make goodie bags, price stickers. Um, so I used to do like a price list and have that visible. What I found is having prices on individual products or like underneath individual products works so much better than writing a price list that you just kind of put somewhere. People want to know the price and they don't want to look for it so make it really obvious. You're obvious sorry so I buy little stickers that I put on pretty much all the products or on the shelf underneath the product um I've got tablecloth question mark because uh usually I keep my tablecloth here and it's not here so it must be at home so I need to kind of find that I have my banner 
and then I need to put a box together of pens, safety pins, paper, charger bags, all the things I like to take with me, um, like blue tack, um, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's my to-do list. So I think I'm going to not stress too much about it today, but um, on Wednesday when I'm back here all day, I will take off a lot of that stuff. Also, I need to sort prints out. So yeah, if you wanna see how the event goes, like I said, the next video, I'm gonna document it. Um, I'm there all day on Sunday and yeah, it should be really nice and hopefully um, I get to see a few of you there if you, yeah, if you're going. So please subscribe so you watch that next video. So now it is quarter past one and I am going to work on my next mermaid which is vampire and um, like I said I've done all the sketch so it should be quite quick hopefully in an hour just over an hour I can have that finished and done <laughs> um, and then we'll see how I'm feeling if I can get another mermaid out I will try try and get two done today but I do need to do my orders so yeah let's do vampire first and see where we're at <laughs> Hello to you. <laughs> Gosh, it is Thursday and I am insanely stressed and busy and hectic and um, I couldn't get the camera battery to charge and I'm just like, oh, I don't have time to like try and fix this problem. So I've just been getting work done anyway. I've managed to fix the charger and it's working and now you're back with me. But the day has nearly got away from me. I'm going to give you an update of where things are at. Like I said, it's insanely, insanely busy here. It's Thursday, as in the eHearts market starts tomorrow. Um, I am hosting this market of 73 online shops. I need to make sure that everyone is ready and everybody's links work and do all those things. I've been doing that today. I also have my craft fair on Sunday. I've been working on my table. I'm going to show you that in a minute. As part of this market, I'm doing a giveaway. So I asked the shops taking by in the market, I was like, hey, I'm doing this giveaway. Um, if you want to donate something to the giveaway, that would be amazing, but don't feel any pressure. And I have about 30 shops worth of products that have arrived. <laughs> so I've decided, I originally wanted to do it as like a charity giveaway, raise money for charity, um, but there's so many rules around that and I'm not going to be able to do it. So instead to kind of say sorry to the shops that were hoping I would raise money with their products. Um, I'm going to film a small business unboxing and like show you all the products and things. I would have loved to have had that video go up in time for the market so you could shop the things I show in the video, but sadly, life is too busy, <laughs> can't. Um, so that video will come next, I just don't know when. But look out for it. I have spent the past few hours getting the shop ready, sharing graphics, doing all the things. Um, it's just been an admin heavy kind of day. Um, and now that's done and everything looks great. Um, my DMs are full, but we're just kind of going to block that out just for a little bit. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you my table because I finalised my table. I've moved things around since, since you last saw it. Um, the only thing I need to do is all my price and like little price bits but I'm gonna do that tomorrow um but yeah let me show you because I'm very very happy with it I can't actually remember what it looks like last time you saw it but I've moved the pin display 
across and I got rid of the print stand that I had because I don't need it. So yeah, so we have the pegboard with a few little bits and pieces on, my stickers are on there. And then I've decided to just take lots of notepads with me. It is a planner event. These notepads normally do really well and I'm just gonna have them kind of here um, and up here. So I need to put like little uh, price bits and pieces. I also turned my decorations into key rings and I think this looks really nice. I'm actually really excited to this year bring out my fourth design um, that would go there. I'm going to be taking these postcards with me. Postcards do really well and I still have the price on here from last time so that's good. I have loads of prints. These are all in the sale on my website right now because they've come from curated makers so the stickers on there and they are half price. So if you want any of these for three pounds, <laughs> go and grab them. This is going to be like a bargain bucket. Like everything in here is gonna be 50p. Come and grab whatever you want. There's sticker sheets, there's prints. Um, there's loads of like stickers in there. Um, I have washi, beanies. I have a couple of bullet journals, not many. And then the pin display. So I'm not taking as much as I initially thought I was going to, but I think that looks really nice. I'll just obviously be in the middle and then I'll have my banner along the front. And I think it's very nice. So I know I look a bit disheveled. Like I said, <laughs> it's just been a bit hectic and I, I feel I'm on the verge of burnout <laughs> with what, I have to do. I am a week behind on mermaids. It's the 25th of May and I still have five mermaids to draw and I have a goodie box going out so I have to finish the mermaids to do the goodie box. Like it's just absolutely mental what I've got on my plate right now with the market, with the craft event. <laughs> just try not to think about it too much but um, anyway I opened up all of the gifts I got for the a giveaway which you'll see in the next video um, but I also got um, from one of our makers Kezia um, she popped a note in to say like this is for the market but this is a gift for you um, and I've had a few of those so I will share them in the next video but this one I wanted to kind of just open and have a look because <laughs> she's made me a mug that's absolutely gorgeous Oh my gosh, can you imagine if I brought out mugs like this? That'd be so nice. Thank you so much, Kezia. Oh, it's so special. And I also got a gift. Um, this, I was opening it thinking it was for the eHouse Market and it's not. It says, hi, Emily. I wanted to send you a little something which I know will make you smile as it's your colour. I've been watching your vlogs for a long time now and seeing you get emotional about leaving your gorgeous studio got to me. You've inspired me with my little business to keep going, to never give up. Thank you. I hope you like your new personalised wristlet. Love from Gemma. <gasps> oh. Guys, look at this. This is so on brand for me. <laughs> it has my name on it. Oh, I love that. That is so kind, Gemma. Thank you so, so much for that gorgeous, gorgeous gift. Um, so Gemma and Kezia, you superstars. Um, it's actually a very special day here for Emily Harvey Art. And I picked this up this morning and I've been so busy, I haven't been able to open it yet. You know you're busy when you're not able to open a brand new iPhone. Oh my gosh. If you, did I vlog it? I probably vlogged getting my current phone back in 2020, something like that. Um, it's been a great phone for me, like, it's been good, can't complain. Um, however, recently I've been really struggling with it because I think the microphone's gone on it. So when I go live on Instagram, which is a lot, I've been getting guys, like people have been commenting saying, Emily, it sounds like there's a cat next to you or there's a cat purring. I'm like, oh no, this is not good. So I knew I needed to get a phone, but phones are very, very, very expensive. Um, so I was a bit hesitant to do it. Uh, but you know what? I realized that I use my phone for every single part of this business and um, it's worth spending the money on it. You know what I mean? Like of all the things and all the expenses, a phone that I take all of my content on, I use to like 
do my like run my shop and talk to my customers it's worth spending the money so i am the now a proud owner of the hang on what is it it's a iphone 14 pro max and i went for it in gold because i'm a gold gal love gold however i'm absolutely terrified of scratching it so i bought a <laughs> cover now i love the skinny dip covers um i think the past three covers for my phone have been skinny dip um because they do the disney ones so right now i have cinderella on my case and i think before that i had pascal um so with this one, I had a choice of two and I wasn't sure which one to go with because they had both uh, Rapunzel and Tiana, which if you if you know me at all, you know that those are my favourite characters. So I put it on Instagram and actually Rapunzel won. Um, but somebody sent me a great message which got me thinking. Um, Rapunzel looked good. However, there was a lot of gold and her hair was blonde and you see the phone through the case and I worried that with a gold case you wouldn't lose that detail. So I've gone with Tiana because I absolutely love her. So the only thing I haven't got right now is a screen protector. Can anyone recommend a really nice screen protector? Um, I'd never put one on this phone and it is so scratched. So if you can recommend one, let me know um, and I will get one. So I need to actually like, you know, put my SIM card in and everything, but I just wanted to show you how it looks with the, with the phone case. So yeah, this is my brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, and this before was the 12, so I kind of skipped the 13 and I've gone, I'm going from a 12 <laughs> that's all scratched to a 14 Pro Max. And I am insanely, insanely excited for lovely pictures and lives that aren't, don't sound like a cat's next to me. I mean, <laughs> I don't want much, you know? Um, so I need to work on that. I need to put my SIM card in it and get it all set up and do all the things. Um, I am so behind on mermaids, so I am going to, it's nearly half four, I am gonna sit and try and get two mermaids done, and then I will be almost up to date. Um, and then tomorrow I'm in all day, um, and then Saturday I'm probably gonna have to work, and then I'm at my event on Sunday, so. Yeah, I'm going to work on mermaids now. <laughs> um, I will check in with you later on, let you know how it's going. Hopefully I show you at least another mermaid. I'd like to have another one done um, before I go home. It's now five to seven and I am working away. I've done the first mermaid. Well, I did the 70s. I don't think I showed you the vampire I did. So I'll insert vampire. Vampire's done. And then I've just finished 70s. I'll put that on the screen. <laughs> now I'm working on coral i'm really liking the quality of the mermaids this time i think i'm getting better at them but i i feel like they're rushed like i'm not spending time planning them last year i remember like having them all planned before i started and i kind of knew what they were all gonna look like this i'm just winging as i'm going so i don't know i'm not next year when i do this I just need to make sure that I don't have loads of other things in the diary. <laughs> um, you know, like markets and eHearts markets and I don't know. I just don't think it's a good idea doing all these things. It's so hard to do it all. I've been watching some vlogs and um, like watching some of my friends doing like these crazy shop launches that have gone so well. And I'm just like so proud of my lovely friends doing so well. And I've been feeling a bit like, Oh, I haven't, like, am I, what's my plan? Like, do I have a plan? I don't think I have a plan for like where, what I'm gonna do with the shop or like moving home, like what, what my goals are for the shop. 
I don't have any like launches planned and like the last launch I did was good but it was Kickstarter so it was kind of different and I don't know like I think because right now usually I would be gearing up for a mermaid collection and like the I mean, it didn't do really well last year, but in the past, that has been a very successful collection for me. And I've decided, I decided not to do a mermaid collection. I just don't think there's demand there. Like, I just don't think people, that's what people want to buy is like mermaid stuff. So it would be silly for me to spend like hundreds and hundreds of pounds on product for it to sit on the shelf all year. Like I've still got stuff on the shelf from two years ago, mermaids. So I'm not gonna do a mermaid collection. Um, so what I've decided is my Patreon box this month is going to be the mermaid collection. So I'm still gonna kind of do one, but it's my Patreon box that will get it. Um, so when you're watching this vlog, um, you have just a couple of days left. Like if you maybe have had all of my mermaid collections in the past and you want to get this one, um, there is still time to join the, uh, goodie box tier on Patreon. So you've basically just got to be a goodie box patron in the month of May, um, to get a goodie box. Now the, the box won't go out till sort of the first week of June because... I'm going to be doing a coloring book. It's gonna be like my biggest goodie box, I think, because I'm gonna do the coloring book that I usually do. I'm gonna do, instead of doing like individual mermaids on bookmarks, I'm gonna do multiple mermaids on a bookmark. I'm gonna do the, the print of all of them. I'm gonna do a sticker, um, postcard set. Is that everything I had planned? I think that's everything I had planned, so. Um, the goodie box is going to be your way of getting the mermaid collection. I'll have to order extra, so there will be some stuff left over, but I can't guarantee there'll be anything. Um, it's not going to be the full collection going into the shop anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's what's got me feeling a bit deflated, is, like, I just... Right now I'd be gearing up for this mermaid collection and, like, launching it and getting all excited, and I'm not doing that. <laughs> so, I've also been thinking... I haven't had a shop order this week. I packed some orders on Monday, but I haven't had, let me just check actually. The last order I had was Sunday. It's now Thursday. I mean, used to be like the norm, so I can't complain, but it's just a bit worrying, I don't know. But maybe it's because like people know that it's the e -Hearts market this weekend and maybe people are hanging on until then and maybe I'll get some orders this weekend but then I haven't had time to do anything in my shop so I'm not launching anything new this weekend um I don't have a lovely freebie for you or I just don't have the I just had to, oh I just don't have the time to do all the stuff I would really love it if next year I do the mermaids and then maybe the following month do an eHearts market and then I have like I can like launch something new for it and do exciting freebies and things but I'm just I'm so busy and I just can't keep up with everything that I'm trying to do so um yeah I just wanted to be honest and tell you that I've not had any orders this week <laughs> um I think it's sometimes easy to just assume that people do get orders all the time and this week I haven't had any and it is a worry um and like I was thinking about my mini pin sets that I did on my Kickstarter. And on the Kickstarter, I sold a few of them, not loads, but I sold a few. Um, and I think I've sold two in total since I released them in the shop. So I think I priced them wrong. Um, I'm gonna lower the price of them this weekend on my shop. I'm not gonna make like a big deal of it, um, but I'm just gonna lower the price and see. Um, but it's hard because like I sell pins for nine pounds and they sell like crazy. Um, but then you get a set of four pins for double the price of that and they don't sell. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> um, hopefully I get some sales this weekend. Um, at my event would be amazing if I could get some sales at my event. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm very nearly finished with Coral. 
which means I'm pretty much back on track with my methods. <laughs> um, I just need to work pretty much every day now until the end of May to finalise it all. Um, but I thought I would end the vlog here um, by saying thank you so much for watching. I will put on the screen Coral, although I've not finished it. By the time I've edited this, it'll be finished. I'll put it here. And I've put all my mermaids together so far. So I've done nine mermaids, nine of 12. And this is how they are looking together. Um, please let me know below which ones you're loving, which is your favorite. Um, and like I said, if you wanna get some mermaid goodies and join my Patreon, um, goodie box tier, join in the month of May. I have it set up now on my Patreon where, so before you would join, say you would join at the end of the month, you'd be charged again on the first of the following month. And it was always this awkward conversation where I would be like, right, well, <laughs> please join, but um, you're gonna be charged again. So feel free to cancel. And I always felt like I had to explain myself and I've changed it now. So the month, the day you join in the month, you'll be charged on that day every month. So if you join now today to get a goodie box, um, this is the month, the time of the month you'll pay for it next month. You don't, you won't pay again on the first. So no more of this awkward, <laughs> um, like having to explain that. If you're a current patron, you still will be charged on the first of the month. This is just for new people going forward. And the other exciting thing is I have now added a free trial, a one week free trial to my most popular tier, which is my five pound tier, which has pretty much all of the content. Um, so if you're thinking about it, you're not sure, you're not sure what it entails, you wanna have a look, um, there's a one week free trial and I'd love for you to give it a try um, because I'm really confident that you'll love it. So please go and check that out. I am going to sign off now. Thank you for spending this uh, busy week with me. I will be picking the camera back up to film a small business haul of everything that's going in the, the um, giveaway. I'm going to share the giveaway on Sunday. So look out for that and please enter. It would mean the world if you entered. Um, shop our eHearts Market this weekend. I'll leave a link below. Support everybody. It'd be so amazing. And what else do I need to tell you? I'm going to an event. So I'll take my camera with me and on the next studio vlog, you will see how that went. And I'll just say now, if I see you on Sunday and um, you watch these vlogs, like thank you for coming over and saying hi. I wanna say a massive thank you to my patrons. Um, your support means the world. Thank you so much. And thank you to you for watching these videos. And I will see you really soon. Bye guys.